to guys it's one here from androidroll.com this is the huawei p40 pro and this has an awesome camera setup at the back but do you know how to take awesome pictures with this phone that's why i'm gonna be bringing you guys my camera guide right here on android dollar so that i will go through all the camera features camera settings that huawei has baked into this phone and let me show you what this camera is capable of i will take pictures with all the camera modes and share with you guys so that you guys will know what you're getting yourself into when you pick up a huawei p40 pro when it comes to the camera so if you guys are excited for this video then you go ahead and smash that like button hit on the subscribe button share this video with your friends and let's get started with today's video all right so let's get started uh, this is the huawei p40 pro so first let me show you how you can access the camera so there are actually a few ways you can do it from the lock screen you can just swipe up like this to open up the camera or else from the home screen you also have access to the camera icon right over here so you can hit on that to open up the camera uh, or else you can go ahead and ask Celia the new digital voice assistant on this phone to open up the camera as well just like this open camera just like that so this is the camera and let me give you an overview of the camera interface first before we start going over the settings and the camera modes. So first off at the top uh, here we have the first icon uh, for the object recognition as well as uh, calorie detection as well as uh, shopping and translation and uh, Huawei AI lens functionality built right into the camera in here. The next option we have is to enable or disable the Huawei Master AI function so you can use that uh, to uh, enhance your pictures automatically using uh, AI uh, based on some preset uh, settings that they have. Let's say you want to take a picture of a dog, then uh, the dog uh, object uh, will get recognized and uh, the phone will automatically apply the filters based on uh, that picture to enhance it. Then we have uh, the place where you can enable the flashlight so you can put it to automatic, no flash or flash always on and the flash always on with the light like always being on. So you, you have option to all of that. Next you have different filters right here at the top so you can go ahead and select uh, which filter you want before even shooting the picture you can see what it looks like if you have a filter enabled this icon won't be white it will be multicolored finally we have the settings icon with all the settings we'll get into that in a bit next right over here there is a button to enable or disable the moving picture mode that you can uh, access on the p40 pro so basically this is something similar to the live photos on iphone on the right hand side here we have the slider so you can zoom in and out using this so you can go to the ultra wide angle mode or you can zoom in like this up to 50 times and if you zoom up to 50 times this type of preview will show up at the top right so you can zoom exactly to the place that you want with your phone so you can also go ahead and hit on this uh, switch spots that are already created so if you just hit on this take to ultra wide angle mode the normal wide angle mode 5 times zoom mode and the 10 times zoom mode and if you want to go beyond that you can just zoom up even further and it will let you zoom Huawei also has a battery saving mode in the camera so basically this is something we have seen in the past as well automatically the screen will turn black and you just have, you just have to tap on the screen to reactivate the camera and uh, at the bottom of the camera interface we have all the camera modes so basically we have the aperture mode we have the night mode, portrait mode, photo mode, video mode, pro mode and if you click on mode you have access to even more modes which we will talk about in a bit. So right now at the bottom we have uh, right at the center we have the shutter button then we have the button to switch to video and then we have on the left hand side the access to the gallery with all the pictures that you have taken and here you have various sharing options you can set it as favorite or you can even go ahead and edit a picture directly from here and save it up as well 
so now let's go ahead and go back into the photo mode and now let's go into the settings and let me give you guys a overview of the settings area on the p40 pro in photos the first option we have is for aspect ratio so here by default it's set to 4 by 3 but you also have the option to select the square 1 by 1 aspect ratio or you can go to the full screen mode here the entire screen will be utilized in the camera interface so if you like this type of view you can uh, go for it uh, or else you can set it at the 4 by 3 aspect ratio then we have audio control option so if you enable this basically you can say cheese to take a photo so if i go into the camera and show you guys cheese next we have the capturing smile mode so if you enable this basically automatically it will the phone will take a picture when people smile in a picture so that's nice if you have set the phone to a tripod or something that's a pretty useful uh, feature then we have the video settings right over here so here you can actually set the video resolution so you actually have various options over here starting from the top the first option that we have is for 16 by 9 4k video then we have full screen 1080p video 16 by 9 1080p video then we have 21 by 9 1080p video and 16 by 9 720p video so you can select whatever option you prefer the default option is the 16 by 9 1080p video but if you want to record it uh, at uh, 4k you can definitely go for that option with the p40 pro as well then under frame rate you can actually set whether you want it to be auto or 30 or 60 fps here on the device so you have full flexibility to pick which frame rate you want whether it's uh, 4k or 1080p uh, 60 frames per second will always be available on the p40 pro next we have access to the efficient video format so this will basically cut down the size of the videos by using the newer hevc format so you can enable that if you want next up going into the general settings we have the assistive grid so basically it will show up this grid for you to line up your pictures when you're taking them if you like that grid you can enable that or there's a horizontal level that you can enable uh, so basically this type of level we come to the middle of the screen so that you can level your pictures then we have the time options so basically you can turn on a timer for two seconds five seconds or ten seconds so that the picture will get captured and then there's mirror reflection mode you can uh, enable or disable but it's only available for the front facing camera here and uh, here currently i have set it to disabled mode and uh, then there's a watermark option basically uh, if you take a picture and just check the picture it will say that it has been captured with the huawei p40 pro 5g with the ultra vision leica quad camera next up we have the location tag option so if you actually have this enabled what it will do is basically every time you capture a picture it will know the location so if you upload the pictures to a service like google photos you can later on easily identify pictures using the location so i highly encourage you guys to enable that and then finally we have the mute function so if you just go ahead and enable the mute function here on the p40 pro the camera will be dead silent so you can uh, have that enabled on your device if you prefer that and uh, finally we have the ultra snapshot feature so basically this is for you to quickly open up the camera using the volume down button if you just double press it at any state even when the phone is off uh, when the phone is in uh, idle mode you can just uh, make it open up the camera or open up the camera and take a snapshot so let me quickly show you guys that right now when you're in the camera interface something to keep in mind is that you can also use the volume buttons on the side to easily capture pictures like this you can e use uh, either button to capture a picture if you can't use the shutter button over here so just keep that tip in mind as well so now uh, let's go over all the camera modes uh, that are there on the huawei p40 pro the first mode we have is called the aperture mode so basically this is good if you want to adjust your aperture only and um, ensure that you get the perfect bokeh that you want for your picture so this is somewhat similar to the portrait mode but uh, the results are sometimes different so here's a sample of, that i captured with the aperture mode
Next up we have the night mode so here we have access to the ISO settings as well as the shutter speed whenever I want to capture a picture in uh, night mode and basically depending on the lighting situation it will determine how much time is needed to capture a picture. Definitely try using this one because this is able to produce some amazing results at night. Here are some camera samples that I was able to shoot. Next up we have the portrait mode and in portrait mode you have the option to set the beauty level you can increase or decrease it by default it's set to 5 and there are different portrait effects that are available here for you to pick from so you can uh, try all of these and see so here are some pictures that I shot with the portrait mode on the Huawei P40 Pro. Next up we have the basic photo mode so this is the photo mode that you will be using most of the time so I'm not going to be talking much about the photo mode because I have already provided some pictures that I shot with the photo mode using the Huawei P40 Pro in my full review so definitely go ahead and check out my full review in order to see the camera samples that I shot with the P40 Pro. Next up we have the regular video mode in the video mode also you will now have access to the ultra wide angle lens as well as zoom up up to 15% this time around with the Huawei P40 Pro and you can also enable various filters to the video mode and the best part is in real time you will be able to see the results before you will start shooting a video so you can get it just right. Here's a video sample shot with the Huawei P40 Pro. Next up we have the pro mode, here if you use this you can take full control over all the pictures that you shoot, you get uh, full access into ISO settings, shutter speed, exposure and you can even uh, change the focus to manual focus and focus to exactly what you want using the pro mode so this is really awesome if you want to take full control over the pictures that you shoot. If you go into the more mode you will see more camera modes that are available on the P40 Pro and if you hit on this button over here at the top you can actually add more camera modes to your device as well. Right now I've added everything. If you hit on this edit button you can drag and reorder the icons any way that you prefer so uh, that's awesome i actually hope that huawei can actually add in an option where we can take uh, some of our favorite features from this and directly add it to the main uh, mode section right over here unfortunately that is not available here but hopefully in a future version that will be available now let's go over all the modes that are given under the more section so first off starting off with the slow motion mode so if you just hit on that you actually get access to various uh, speed options here. You have 4 times, 8 times, 32 times, 64 times, and up to whopping 256 times at 7680 frames per second. So, this is some really awesome stuff from Huawei here when it comes to slow motion. So, uh, here are some samples of slow motion shots that I was able to capture with the Huawei P40 Pro.
Next up, we have the panorama mode. I think everyone is uh, now familiar with the panorama mode, so you can use this to shoot some amazing landscape shots and uh, almost 360 shots with the panorama mode. So here's a panorama picture that I shot with the P40 Pro. Next we have the monochrome mode, so basically you can use this if you love capturing black and white pictures on your phone. So not only do you have various filters in black and white mode in the monochrome mode, but you also get a pro mode basically for monochrome. So you can make use of this to capture amazing black and white pictures on your device using the Huawei P40 Pro. Next we get access to the ARLS functionality so basically think of it like an emoji but on Huawei. So here's what the AR lens mode looks like. Next we have the light painting mode so basically there are different uh, options here with traffic trails, light graffiti silky water and star trails available here on the P40 Pro so uh, based on your liking you can use this to shoot some amazing pictures here's the light painting mode picture that I shot with the P40 Pro next option we have is for the HDR mode so with the HDR mode what it will do is it will basically improve the details in the lightest and darkest areas of the photos and uh, it will make it look uh, richer in color so you can make use of this if you want punchier pictures so here's the HDR picture that I shot with the P40 Pro next up we have the time lapse mode so basically you can make use of the time lapse mode to record videos that appear to be sped up really fast so you can be make use of this to shoot some amazing stuff and you also have control here you can fully change uh, the time of the time lapse as well as you get access to the recording duration and you also have pro mode control here on the time lapse mode that is something really nice that Huawei has built in on the P4 next up we have the sticker mode so basically when you capture a picture you can place a sticker like this on your uh, on your photo so you have various options here and you can pick between whatever you like and you can place it on the screen with the sticker mode on the P40 Pro next up we have the document mode so basically if you want to scan a document you can make use of this mode to automatically scan a document next up we have the underwater mode which is one of my favorite modes uh, that Huawei makes into their camera UI why I like this mode is basically because I can actually use this mode when I try to shoot pictures underwater so basically if I have this enabled uh, what this will do is uh, the screen will not be available to touch so you just have to control your device using the volume buttons and the power button so you can use the volume up button to take a picture you just have to hold it down for a burst picture and then if you hold the volume down button it will start or end the video as well if you hit on the power button the screen will turn on and off and if you want to exit out of the underwater mode it's pretty easy you just have to hold this uh, text at the bottom and it will exit the underwater mode so definitely try to use that if you want to shoot a picture underwater with your P40 Pro next up we have the dual view mode so basically what it will do is it will let you capture videos from two cameras at the back of the P40 Pro so you can capture simultaneous videos with this device and uh, you can actually zoom in the top part of the video if you want and have dual view functionality here on the P40 Pro which is uh, somewhat nice when you think about it because you can have uh, recordings of the same thing but in two different angles directly on your smartphone with this mode
last but not least we have the high resolution mode so basically what this will do is this will let you take 50 megapixel high resolution shots with your p40 pro so here are some 50 megapixel camera samples that i was able to capture So that's about it for the settings uh, now you can also use this button to swap the camera and uh, since the p40 pro actually has two cameras at the front so if you swap the camera you can uh, see the various options that are available in portrait mode as well as in photo mode if you want to capture a selfie here uh, on the p40 pro so you can easily go ahead and press on this button to capture any picture that you want here if you go into the portrait mode options also you have various options that are available from the beauty mode as well as uh, here you have access to effects as well directly from the camera of the p40 pro so it's working in real time pretty cool stuff that uh, just works well guys that's how you take awesome pictures with your huawei p40 pro i hope you guys found this video useful if you did definitely go ahead and share this video with your friends if you're new to my channel definitely go ahead and smash the subscribe button right now for more awesome tech videos just like this in the future definitely go ahead and check out my other huawei p40 pro videos right here on android dollar and you can follow me on social media i'm at android dollar all the links are given down below in the description and stay tuned to androidollar.com for all the latest from the tech world if you have any other video suggestions featuring the p40 pro go ahead and drop a comment down below and let me know and until i see you guys in my next video this is one signing out